scientists have made a game-changing breakthrough to fight diabetes. The Telegraph is reporting that, quote, Harvard University researchers have discovered how to use stem cells to manufacture insulin-producing cells, paving the way to a cure for type 1 diabetes. Here's how they go on to explain the details. Quote, type 1 diabetes is an autoimmune disease that causes the body to stop producing insulin, which regulates glucose levels in the blood. It is the most common form of diabetes in children and makes up about 10% of overall cases in adults. Diabetics keep glucose levels within acceptable levels via daily insulin injections, but those injections are not sufficiently accurate to manage the body's metabolism, which leads to complications like the loss of limbs and blindness. But this, this new thing now, they continue, quote, uses embryonic stem cells to create insulin-producing pancreatic beta cells that would obviate the need for insulin injections. They implanted the cells in non-human primates earlier this year, and to date, the cells are still producing insulin. So to put this in perspective for other people out there who might be idiots like I am, here's how big of a success this is. Quote, If this scalable technology is proven to work in both the clinic and in the manufacturing facility, the impact on the treatment of diabetes would be a medical game changer on par with antibiotics and bacterial infections. Okay, this is fucking gigantic. They basically just cured type 1 diabetes. They say there's just one more hurdle left to go through, the final phase of testing, and that's it, and all indicators are that all systems go, man, we did this thing. So there are two things to take away from this. Number one, the obvious. Science is a boss. Okay, everything that religion wishes it could do, science actually does. So whenever people turn to God, what happens? It's usually because they're in a bad place in their lives and they're upset or they're sick or something negative went on. A family member died. And it's always people basically praying to be relieved of the kind of pain that they're in, whether it's physical, emotional, you name it. Praying to be in a better spot. Well, here we have... A, a process by which we can actually achieve better spots for humanity, whether it's better mental health, better physical health, you name it. It's all through science. See, that's the thing about science is people look at it like it's this monolithic thing, but it's not. It's a process. I mean, the best way to describe science is it's the process by which you ascertain the truth of nature. Okay, that's the best way to describe it. So, when people say, I always laugh when people say, like, oh, yeah, you're, have you ever heard the term scientism? People act like that's a negative thing. Like, oh, over-reliance on science over here. Over-reliance on science? That's like saying, hey, man, you rely too much on the process by which you ascertain the truth of nature. Guilty! Guilty as charged relying too much on that. You can't rely on the process by which you ascertain the truth too much. And when people say science is dogmatic, it's the most hilarious thing ever because it is the least dogmatic thing ever! Because if you're wrong, you immediately have to go back to step number one and start over. You can't bullshit. If you're wrong, you have to start over and come up with a new hypothesis and then test it and see if it becomes a theory. You have to go through the hard work. You have to do the steps. If at any point you're wrong, it's over. You have to go back to the beginning. That's what people don't understand, when, which is why when people talk about, oh, it's just a scientific theory. Theory in the scientific uh, world and in scientific terms means it's a fact. Hypothesis is the thing that's a theory in the way they use the term. So this is just such a clear example of that. But the, the second part to this is that embryonic stem cells are so necessary for research and cures. Okay, I know one of the conservative rebuttals to this is, well, we could just use uh, adult stem cells because they do the same thing, but that's not true. Talk to any scientist and they'll tell you, mm, no, it's really more the embryonic stem cells can become any kind of cell, so they have unlimited potential. And of course, how do you get embryonic stem cells? Well, through abortion, you get them. That doesn't mean we should encourage it. That doesn't mean we should force people into it. Of course not. But it does mean that it's another reason why abortion should be safe, legal, and rare. Especially early on, right? 
But there's, this is never even, that's the thing that's stunning, is this is never even brought up in the conversation about a woman's right to choose. Nobody ever says, but, 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 let's also stop and think about, you know, people who are already living? Yeah, there's a lot of sick fucking people on this planet that need a hell of a lot of help, and for some of them, the only possible research for potential cures is from embryonic stem cells. And what the conservatives want to do is totally, that entire field, obliterate it. Obliterate it, outlaw it, get rid of it, never want to see it again, never want to hear it about it again, but you're damning humans to not even exhaust certain pathways for cures for certain problems. Again, even just speaking purely uh, theoretically, that's the only, for some things, stem cells is the only hope for a possible cure or to try to help alleviate a problem. And conservatives just want to say, no, get rid of that completely. Well, we just, do you not realize we just possibly cured type 1 diabetes from embryonic stem cell research? So, again, this is, this story is great because, obviously, because of what it is and what was just accomplished. It's tremendous. It's amazing. But it's also great because it gives us hope. You know, like, it, who knows what's next? If we really invested billions of dollars into trying to find a cure for cancer, something that can fight cancer more effectively than chemo and radiation, okay, if we really invested into ending heart disease, finding more effective ways to, to do that, if we really invested in trying to stop the main things that plague uh, humans, like stroke is a big cause of death, like, we can do it. I mean. There was a time when our average age of death was, what, 52? And then now, we kicked it all the way up in the U.S. to about 80. Uh, why stop there? Who says we can't get it to 100 or 150? The potential is unlimited. But look, the overall uh, point is, you can't stop the process by which we move down that road. So listen to the progressives. We got it right. You have to... Uh, Invest in science, you have to give a lot of money to scientific research, and you also need to allow embryo embryonic stem cell research because this is the tremendous upside of it.